today I want to test and try out the Scuba Ringer MK2. Normally it is for underwater hunting, for fish hunting, but I want to try out how it works over water. Is it maybe also possible to hunt with it in a survival situation? Welcome back, my name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. And the fish is of course not real. Gogan sells the scuba ringer for hog defense. If you are diving in the deep sea and there is a shark attack, you can protect yourself with the scuba ringer. Or also, of course, for underwater hunting, if you want to um, kill fish underwater, this is also made for. But you know, I like to test things. And today I want to test if the scuba ringer is also good for over the water, above the water. I want to try out if it would be possible in a survival situation to kill an animal with this thing to hunt or not. And we want to try it out today. We will take a closer look to the scuba ringer in the next scene. At first I want to show you what you get if you buy one. Of course you have here the scuba ringer itself. Then you have here different pets. I want to tell you the use later. And here you have um, the barrel jacket extensions because you can um, switch them for different projectiles. And of course the arrows. Now we check out the cartridges. So these are here complete full. I prepared them before and those here are empty. And when we fill them up, I want to show you the difference here from these pads, why we have here two different um, pads. Yeah, and we want to do it now. When we take a closer look to the cartridge, you can see that you can open them here. And here inside are these pads. So this pad is used because there is a hole inside. And for shooting or for a preparer, you put a new pad, a new pad here on top. You can switch here with your finger around that there is no dirt on top. And then when you have a new pad here, you can close it again. So, and when it is filled, it saves, of course, the energy. And you can see that the pad is here coming a little bit outside because it is filled. And you can also check out if it's full or not. When you use such a tool, you can see here, we have another weight than here with this full cartridge. You can fill the cartridges in two different ways. You can use a hand pump, which takes a little bit more time. And of course you need a little bit of muscle power or you use the easy way like I do with this tool. I put you both or both links in the video description. Then you can choose which kind you want to use. I don't want to bother you with all the boring details because of this. I don't show you everything. Only the important thing, if you want to know the details, feel free to check out the YouTube channel from Jörg Sprave's Slingshot channel. There you will find everything. Okay, let's fill the two cartridges which are left and then we can start use them. I forgot to tell you the difference be um, between those two pads. So we have here thinner pads for underwater and thicker pads for above water. And the reason why the pads for underwater are thinner is that the hammer must work underwater against the water resistance and that there is enough energy to blow out, the pads have to be thinner.
a maximal uh, pressure from 300 bar is yeah, the maximum. You should not be over it. And if you work with a tool like this, you should check that you would really see the, PS, um, the bar and not the PS, PSI as I make as a mistake in the past. Only short the details of the scuba ringer. So um, you can switch them for your different arrows. And here inside there is something which fix the arrows that they shoot at this point where you want to have it. Um, here you open it to fill the weapon. You have two shots. Um, the hammer is switching that you can shoot once and then the second. You can save the weapon, which is always important if you handle with weapons. Save it when you not use it, when you don't want to shoot. Um, here it is a little bit strong that you don't shoot accidentally. We don't want that. And here the arrows are not falling out if you handle the weapon. So they are going out very slowly that they not accidentally pull out if you don't want it. For being ready to shoot you need of course the scuba ringer MK2, the cartridge, the arrow and the arrow holder. To fix it you need the cartridge. Then you fix this part here. Pull inside the arrow. It's not so easy anymore because the air cannot be out. And now put it inside the scuba ringer and fix the second arrow and then we can start. Everything is ready to use. I prepared a special um, target and yeah, we are ready to start and use it for the first time. Let's start with the first shoot. I prepared a target in my garden, but later I have another target. As you can hear, it is pretty loud. It is similar to a 9mm weapon, so not so silent. And um, it is a little bit difficult for me to press here because I have small fingers, but I'm also sure every, ma every man or person with stronger fingers can handle it very easy. Um, so you check out your target between these two parts here in German, Kimme and Korn. And if, if you see both parts here, you know you can check out where the target is and shoot there at the right point. This is my next target. There is a coconut inside. Um, I have here those, this ballistic gel and I'm very looking forward how the result of the shooting is. Um, the coconut has a very hard skin and I want to check out if the arrow shoots through the coconut or if the coconut stop it. We will find it out, but uh, what I can tell you now is that the scuba ringer MK2 is not a toy. So you have to handle it very well. There is the possibility that you can kill somebody with it. I know this before I try the coconut. Uh, so you have to handle it like every weapon really with care. Let's try it out if we can kill the coconut. Whoa! <laughs> uh oh! 
the first um, arrow missed the target, you can see it, it is here under the coconut, but the second stick inside here, you, here you can see the end. When you know how hard the coconut cover is, and then when you see how easy the uh, arrow is going inside, this is a great result. Give her the rest, I will see it complete damaged. Yeah! <laughs> I think the coconut is ready. Here come the coconut water. I don't hit the coconut every time when I shoot, but this was only my mistake, not because of the weapon. And as you can see here, here we have one arrow, which starts here at this side of the coconut and ends at the other side. So both sides are complete. Uh, so the shoot was going through the coconut and Wow, I'm really speechless because I don't thought that the shooting are so heavy that they come completely through the coconut. Um, and when I shoot at this target here, this was my first try, uh, the arrow comes here through this first both parts and ends here with the top because there is so much power behind it. And of course you always have to check when you are shooting that you have a safe shooting area that nobody's there, that the arrow cannot leave your ground. But I think you know it. The Scuba Ringer MK2 has 49 joule and the arrow flies in one second 92.5 meters. This is heavy, massive. With my test today, I want to try if it is possible to use the Scuba Ringer MK2 for a survival situation for hunting. So if you have no other, other options, if it is possible to kill an animal, for example a deer with it or a rabbit or not. As you can see, the, the trigger is very hard for me to move because I have not so much energy in my fingers. And when I shoot, there is so massive energy that I cannot hold the weapon exactly at the same point. I switch a little bit. And if, when I hunt, my goal is that I have to kill the animal without pain, very fast, in a few minutes or better, a few seconds, because the, the shoot was at the exactly right point. I don't want to have any animal suffer, also not in survival situations. And I, I shoot the coconut, of course, but um, I was in a very low distance. When I am 10 meters away, I am not sure if I also shoot at the right point or if I can kill the animal with this shoot without suffering. So it is great for a survival situation because there is so much energy behind this scuba ringer but you have to try it a lot that you can handle it very well and that you shoot exactly at the right point and also it's great for self-defense because there is so much power behind it you'll see what happens with the coconut when you see there are no coconut or then um, a human face, a human um, head, it destroys everything. So in a survival situation, I would choose this. So I come now to the end of the video today. The shooting test was really impressive because when you see how much pressure there is behind of the arrows and you see the damage of the coconut, you know what's possible with this weapon. You can when you have enough practice, hunt with it, and if the law allows you, you can use it as a self-defense weapon 
Um, I don't know how the law in your country is, so please be careful. Do only what the laws allows you, like I do it. But the damage of the coconut was so massive. Yeah, it is a great self-defense tool. So I always try out something new for what the product is not made and this product is made for underwater diving, underwater hunting. It is not allowed in Germany, but maybe I try it out in my holidays because in the land where I am in holiday, it is uh, legal if you have the license. And yeah, when I try out, you will come with me, you can be sure. If you want to buy the scuba ringer or if you want to have more details, I put you a link here down in the video description here you can find all the details and if you want to have videos with more details or other practice tests feel free to check out the channel of Jörg Sprave, Slingshot channel, there you find everything. I'm out for today, we see us in the next video. Have a great time, bye bye!